This video is about the cleaning hacks that you will actually use. So weirdly, I love cleaning. I know that's not a normal thing to love, but it is like therapy for me. It's super relaxing and there is nothing better to me than being in a clean environment. So I am always trying and looking up different cleaning hacks but if you go to pinterest it is filled with the dumbest cleaning hacks that are like stupid like they those are cleaning hacks are things that people will never actually use and so i decided that i'm going to show you the list of cleaning hacks that i actually use all the time it's the ones that i use on a weekly basis on a monthly basis depending on what it is sometimes daily and they are game changers so let's get into the video where I show you all of the best non-stupid cleaning hacks out there. So the first cleaning hack for you is actually for your kitchen and your dishwasher. And I struggled for a while because every time I would put my dishwasher on and wash my dishes, they would come out with like a like spots on them. And it was so annoying. It looked like they weren't clean when like I knew I put them in the dishwasher and they were clean. So I figured out a way to solve it and it is a really cheap way. So what I do is I actually take vinegar and I just bought a cheap liquid measuring cup that I leave in my dishwasher and I just pour about half a cup of vinegar in my dishwasher for every load and just put it in the top rack and then let it sit. And when my dishes come out, they are completely spotless with zero marks on them. So this hack is for all you smoothie drinkers out there. It is painful when you're, you forget to clean your smoothie maker right away or your blender, and then the fruit gets stuck to the insides of it and it is like impossible to get it out. So one way that I really easily clean my blender is once I'm done making my smoothie, I'll rinse out the fruit and then I will put some um, like just um, Dawn soap in the blender with some water and then I'll put it back on the blender and I'll just blend it for like 10 seconds and it really gets in all the grooves and cleans the entire thing super, super easily and then I just dump it out, rinse it out, and it is completely good to go. This next cleaning hack is a newer one that I started using probably a month ago and I've been using it every time I do my laundry since. So I actually got a tennis ball and have it in my dryer and it's basically a like wool ball on steroids. So I found this tip from Amazon shockingly when I bought my duvet cover um, or like the insert to the duvet and then my mattress topper because people were saying that it wasn't getting fluffy enough and then so someone commented and says or said to put it in your dryer with a tennis ball and it'll fluff it up. So I did that and it worked amazing amazingly so i just left it in there and my clothes dry faster because it's like moving them around more they have less wrinkles because clothes don't get clumped together um less static it's just like something that i will probably always have in my washing machine from now on the next cleaning hack is for anyone that hates to iron i absolutely hate ironing i think it is so boring and just annoying to do and i always forget to do it so a really easy way to get wrinkles out of your clothes is to actually get ice cubes out of your freezer. Obviously they'd be out of your freezer. And you put them in your dryer with your shirt or whatever you're trying to get unwrinkled and just set it on for like 10 minutes or even five minutes. And the ice cube will you like work as steam and it'll steam your wrinkles out of your piece of clothing. And it is amazing and so much easier than ironing okay so you can hear the ice cubes in the dryer but this next hack has this isn't really a hack but this has been like a game changer for me and that is to set aside 10 minutes every single night and it's just 10 minutes like i'll set a timer for 10 minutes and in those 10 minutes i just clean i'll clean everything up i'll load the load the dishwasher i will wipe down the counters wipe down the bathroom i just spend 10 minutes every single night just cleaning and once that 10 minutes is up I'm done but this has made me 
so much cleaner and my apartment just stays so much more clean and it I've like really been able to tell a difference so this next hack has been what I found to be the easiest cleanup method okay so for a long time I was using paper towels and that is just stupid one it leaves lint but more importantly it's horrible for the environment so I was trying to figure out a way or like what I should be using instead and there's a lot of different things that you can use but my favorite um, type of cloth to wipe up things is microfiber cloths and usually this pile is much neater but you can buy these on Amazon for like a set of 20 for like seven dollars or something crazy and they do such a good job at picking up things if you're a girl and you have hair um, like probably you have hair <laughs> then um, this does it picks up all of your hair I shed like no one's business so I have hair everywhere and it like really picks it up almost annoyingly it like does such a good job at like I don't know grabbing onto it um, and I just think it does a better job than paper towels and paper towels is horrible for the environment so why not and then once I'm done I just I have in my laundry room I have a basket that I throw these into when I'm done cleaning and then I just put them all in the wash at the same time and they come out clean and I reuse them again and again and again so highly recommend microfiber cloths but also you can use cut up t-shirts too that's another um, hack out there to use for cleaning okay so this next tip is next tip slash hack is to always 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 vacuum last in your cleaning order besides if you are planning on actually like cleaning the floors so every time I clean I like do my weekly cleaning or even like a super deep cleaning I will save my vacuuming for last because then while I'm like cleaning the counters and stuff I can just push everything on the floor and like the dust can get on the floor and I don't have to worry about it and then the last thing that you do is vacuum it all up and you're good to go so like obviously like I said before if you're actually like swiffering or like cleaning the floors then I would vacuum and then do that but saving vacuuming for the last is key to a clean home at least I think so. This next hack is for your bathroom. So if you have a plastic shower liner, you can actually wash that and make it new again. Shower liners can get really disgusting. They can get conditioner, shampoo on it, molt, like, I don't know. They can get all different types of nasty stuff on it. So you can actually wash it in your washing machine instead of throwing it away. So what I do is I will take my shower liner off and then I will take it to my washing machine and I'll grab either towels or I'll grab my bath mats or both and I'll stick it in there with the plastic liner and then on a like warm cool setting I'll just wash it like normal with some detergent with just some like regular detergent or you could do vinegar or you could do baking soda choose one of those don't do them all I just use a pod um, and then you just wash it like normal and then to dry it you do not put it in the dryer because it'll probably melt you just hang it back up and let it air dry and it will look brand new the next hack that I use all the time is to actually use old socks as dusters so this is my boyfriend's socks but what you can do is you can literally like put it on your arm and then you can go and like dust your blinds or whatever you want and it just makes it like so easy because you can just wipe it off with your hand another hack that I totally love is when I'm cleaning windows so what I do is I will spray down my windows like normal and then I actually use coffee filters to wipe them off and coffee filters are super super cheap but like paper towels leave streaks in the windows and mirrors coffee filters do not leave any streaks whatsoever so usually I'll use like two coffee filters to wipe it down and then um, you can also use newspapers too newspapers do a really great job at not leaving any marks um, so it just makes your windows and mirrors look a lot cleaner than um, regular paper towels do. 
Okay, so I moved for this next hack, but magic erasers are game changers. They're life changing. They are the best thing ever. So I just get my magic eraser wet and you can honestly, my camera died on me just as I was showing you, but these magic erasers can get rid of everything and anything, any mark on the wall, any mark on your paint, like literally they can get rid of anything. They are um, amazing. This next hack I use whenever my disposal smells really bad and it actually is like a two in one hack. So what I do is I just get a handful of ice cubes and then I will get some essential oils and I'll put those ice cubes in the disposal and then a few drops of the essential oils and I turn the disposal on and that will make it smell super, super good and the ice chunks clean out the disposal but then they also sharpen the blades so that the next time that the food goes down, the blades are sharper and they won't get stuck. The next hack is for you if you have a really dirty microwave that you cannot get the pasta sauce or pe whatever is splattered all over and you can't get it off, the way that you do that is you get a microwavable bowl and you put water in it and then you can put some lemon drops in it. So I just use the lemon drops that come in like the tube at the store, but if you wanna use fresh lemons, go for it. Um, and then I just stick it in my microwave for five minutes and after that five minutes, the whole microwave is super like really easy to clean and you can just basically wipe everything up and you're good to go and lastly this is for all of you with a metal sink so metal sinks can be painful to clean they always look dirty and they can get scratches on it and it's just like not cute so a way that you can really really clean your metal sink is by getting some I'm actually gonna get them out right now but it's by getting a box of these SOS pads and I use these SOS pads all over my kitchen. I use them on my um, stove to clean that on the like metal part and um, I also use this in my sink and so it looks like this and I just bought this at Target so you can find it like anywhere. You just get it wet and then you do small circles all over your sink and it is gentle enough where it won't scratch your sink, but it will get all of those scratches out. Your sink will be sparkling clean. It works amazing. And these also really, really work well for your pots and pans if you have like um, food stuck on them that you can't get out. So I love using these. So that is all of the hacks that I have for you. Those are all hacks that I truly use all the time, like all the time actually, and they're, the hacks that I found on the internet that aren't stupid. And if you go to Pinterest, there are so many that are stupid. So I hope that these were helpful to you and that you try them out. I promise they're really good hacks, at least for me. So yeah, I hope you guys like that video. Make sure to check out my Instagram. I give a ton of cleaning hacks, show you how I organize my entire apartment, how I decorate everything. I'm taking you room by room and we're like decorating everything. If you're going to home goods with me, Target, we literally go everywhere together and it is so much fun. Um, and then, yeah, check out, like, I don't know, check out my website, self-promotion maybe. So yeah, so check out those things and then subscribe to my YouTube channel and I hope you have a great day. And if you have any other hacks that I should try, that like are good, comment them down below because I will 100% try them. I love all different types of cleaning hacks. All right, bye. <laughs>